Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I'm a data scientist. This is the continuation of my deployment video on Unix box. And this is the part third of that video. Just to refresh what all we have covered till now, I have a model deployment folder in my machine. And in this machine, I have different folders. For example, data input, data output, landing base, logs, prediction output, scripts and training output. What all these folders mean, what I'm doing in model training, what I'm doing in prediction, you can watch first two videos of this series, okay? Just to refresh the last video once, I trained a model. If you come here in a scripts folder, I have model training.py, which is my training file, prediction.py, which is my prediction file, and then I have created a wrapper, which I'm going to demonstrate in today's video, okay? So model training and model prediction is nothing but this will train the model and model prediction will predict on the new data. Okay. So till my last video, how I was running it is I was giving the prediction data to prediction.py. Okay. So what I was doing is I was going and saying like this Python scripts. Okay. A scripts folder I will go to and I will call my prediction script on my prediction data. Okay home Hadoop, this is my path where my data is. And if I do this, the prediction is happening on my prediction data. Okay. In today's video, I'm going to show you that in real world deployment process, what are the important things that we need to take care? Number one and number two, how we can call this prediction using a Unix script, using a cell script. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at that wrapper cell script this is going to be very informative video guys kindly pay attention to what all i am doing in this wrapper okay you will understand what are the important things that needs to be taken care when we run our machine learning model in production environment so this is my wrapper script guys i'm calling this i'm i'm naming this my wrapper dot sh okay what is the job of this wrapper it will run that prediction script using this unix script okay let us see what all I'm doing here one by one. First of all, I'm creating a log file, guys. If you remember, I have a log folder here. Okay, and I told you the use of the log folder is I will be writing logs here for my execution. Okay, so I come here and I create first step. I create a log file. Okay, in that logs folder, if you see same path logs folder, I store that in a variable and I just write one statement. A script execution started at current date and time in that log file variable. So when the script starts running, a log file will get created and it will be stored there that at what the time and date script started executing. Okay. The second and important thing here I'm doing is checking number of parameters passed. So if you remember guys, I'm passing the folder path here to my prediction script. Okay. This is my folder where my data is there prediction data is there okay suppose in place of this i pass another argument aman just an example my script is going to fail right here i have not written the failed logic because i i am going to do that in the wrapper script okay so what should happen ideally is it should accept just one argument it should not accept zero arguments or two arguments okay that is what i am going to do here in the shell script what i am doing here if number of arguments is not equal to one, then echo invalid number of parameters passed or continue. Okay, parameter check completed if this happens. So if I go here and try to run my wrapper script, so where is my wrapper script guys? In scripts folder, I will go here and say scripts, my wrapper, okay. And this is my input path, home, HDOOP, model deployment, this is my input path. And suppose I give one more additional argument here, Aman. So my script should fail and it should say me invalid number of parameters passed. That is what I'm doing here. I'm saying echo invalid number of parameter passed, exit one, exit one means do not execute further. Okay. And if I pass correct number of arguments, which I will do, then it will say parameter check completed and it will write the same thing in the log file, right? That is the first thing, checking the number of parameters. Second thing, what I'm doing here is I'm checking if the directory I am passing exists at all. So if you see here, guys, the, the right way of calling the prediction script is this. Okay. 
so i need to pass a directory here home hadoop model deployment suppose this is an invalid directory suppose uh, a directory like aman test abc this is an invalid directory if i give enter it will say that no such file or directory this is a python error okay but i want to see all the error at one place because i want to refer to the log files okay later what i will do i will write the same thing here here i am printing in console you can write in log files also like this okay if i give a double arrow and say log file it will go to log file if i just say echo it will print in the console okay so what i am doing here i am taking the test path in first variable in a variable okay and i am checking if that path exist then directory exist if that does not exist then say directory does not exist kindly recheck path let me show you how it works here okay you come here and call the wrapper script with a <coughs> wrong path okay for example aman test 1 2 3 this is a wrong path this path does not exist it says directory does not exist kindly recheck path okay that is check number 2 so what all we have checked correct number of arguments if the directory is correct third thing what we need to check is whether the python prediction script ran successfully see here python 3 scripts prediction.py dollar 1 dollar 1 is our path okay and then i am saying status is equal to dollar question mark if this equal to 0 then code ran successfully else python script failed okay so let me come here and let me make a syntax error in python script this is my prediction script let me try making a syntax error here i made a syntax error here let me save this let me go back to my command and try to run the wrapper with correct path and everything okay let me try running this you will see here directory is existing that is coming but command is failing saying what python script failed and from here to here what you see is the python error okay it says line 10 if you go here in line 10 that error we have made okay let me correct this and let me make some other error here for example in place of read underscore csv let me make read underscore csv something like read underscore c cv okay control s same thing let me do here it will say line 16 error is there and python script failed so if there is any issue in your python script this wrapper script will not allow the entire script to run rather it will fail that script and say that there is an issue with your python script and that is what all we want right so if you see guys i'm doing multiple checks here and if there is an issue with your script anywhere then you know the script will fail and you will get that message here what i need to do is i need to create a A script execution ended if everything goes well then this will go and write in the log file now since i have run this many times so maybe log file would have got created see here log file is created okay and few entries will be there in the log file see many times we have run for testing purpose so a script execution started at the script execution all these things so let me go ahead and either we can delete this log file or we can just create a new log file here let me delete that for now And let me try running complete script once to show you how it will run okay come here and say sh sh means self script scripts my wrapper dot sh home hadoop model deployment correct path correct arguments okay run this <coughs> okay python script is failing maybe some change i made here which i did not correct okay n is missing here let me n let me go back and remove this log one more time so that it becomes very clear to you come here try to run this one more time see directory it is checking directory exists data is reading pre processing happening model loading prediction happening python script ran successfully okay once the script run successfully then you go ahead and see in the log files you will see whatever we are writing here will be getting written here script execution started at 2021 38 parameter check completed script execution ended at this from here suppose i want to write something else in the log then whatever you are printing in echo here for example directory exists you can just give a double you know angle bracket here and write in the log file okay let me show you once log file let me delete this let me come back and rerun this script okay so whatever you want to write in the logs for tracking purpose 
you can just write here changed on the disk reload this is a new log file so directory exists is getting written okay so what is the use of this log file guys so you know what all you are writing in the log right and if something is not getting written you will know that that is the part where script is failing and that is how using this wrapper you this wrapper is internally calling this python script so using this wrapper you take care of your prediction you pass the argument dynamically and you know you take care of the code in modular part you take care of blocks of the code now there are many scopes for improvement in this guys okay i will give you a few examples first is this path we should not hard code here i have hard coded one path this should not be hard coded this should come from the arguments anyway we are passing the path up to here right so what you should do is you should take this path and combine it with logs and script logs and create this file number one number two i am manually going and deleting these files in every run if you see okay so why can't we create a file like script logs underscore current date right script logs underscore date time variable dot log so what will happen every time it will run it will create a new log file with current date and time so you have to take date and time from this variable like this okay and append it in the file name so what will happen for all the run a new log file will get, will get created similarly in the prediction script also if you see i'm writing just like that prediction output prediction output.csv here also you can combine the date underscore date this is a this will come as a variable so i cannot write like this plus and that variable so i leave this up to you guys how do you take this and how do you uh, there are other scopes of improvement as well that is what i was talking right there are other scopes for improvement here and uh, i'm doing three four checks you can do more checks um, here also few things you can take care dynamic you can make few more things dynamic here so all these things you can take care i'll upload this in my drive you take this do some practice and you know let me know if you face any issues and what what are the changes that you did in the code next thing what we do in practical environment or real time environment is we run this using a scheduler okay so there is a concept of scheduler there are many schedulers so you take some scheduler tool and you say that hey you know what run this wrapper once in a week for example every thursday 9 pm ist or run every day 8 pm ist something like that so what we will do we will take all the new latest data and run that script on the latest data that is the job of the scheduler if you search about schedulers you will get a lot of information on web there are many scheduling tools okay that's not a big deal that's a gui kind of tool where you set up a scheduler and give the time so let me know this entire deployment process guys three four videos how did you like how did you implement and if you face any issues let me know I'll come up with another interesting video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care.